You all know I like a good documentary, but I gotta tell you, this one right here really, really caught me by surprise. Got a lot of thoughts, so let's jump into the review of the new documentary, James Hemmings, Ghost in America's Kitchen. What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today, folks, we're going to be reviewing the new documentary, James Hemming's Ghost in American's Kitchen, which is available now on Prime Video. So whenever I watch a documentary, it, again, I say this over and over and over. It's really about being exposed to a subject matter or thing or just anything that you have never had heard before and to be educated about it. And then in this one, this one not only educated me to something that I'd be totally honest, almost oblivious to the even the idea of the origins of a lot of this, what we're going to cover here, to the point that like, I watched this and literally sat back and was just, I was just jaw dropped because one thing, one I, listen, this, if there's one thing I know about African American history Oh, we, we, we do some things. We do some very spectacular things, you know? Um, and, and time and time again, a lot of our history, which has been covered up, is now being exposed, now seeing the light of day. And this is another case with James Hemings, who is basically America's culinary founding father. I love the idea that they made this really, they made this really personal for folks instantly. They say, you ever had mac and cheese? You ever had french fries or ice cream? <laughs> Guess who is behind a lot of the contributions of that even being on American soil, James Hemings. And it's a lot to him personally, but everything that he's done in terms of just the culinary education, uh, being a slave, number one, and, and, and not just that, but being able to not just grasp knowledge within our culture, but to then to be able to go overseas and and study and learn in france and then to come back and bring that back here and completely change the game that's the simplest way i can put it now he's the brother-in-law of thomas jefferson uh but properly enslaved by him which was an interesting thing because you know the at least the impression that i get is that like there was a, a level of respect Thomas Jefferson knew that no one could chef like my guy. And so he kept him close. But that's also very dangerous because anytime anybody black knows too much or too smart, too powerful or any sorts of different things, people don't like that, uh, which ends up going into his death in terms of like what happened to him. Because there's one narrative, but there's a lot of folks that think otherwise. And I'm not going to expose all of that because I'm going to let you watch the documentary. Um, but it, it, it does... It educates us so much about this person, what he's done, his legacy, and just how the culinary game has never seen somebody been so innovational. Like he 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 is the guy that made a lot of these things that we we are used to seeing day in and day out. Like it's him. And it's just it's really I I just was kind of like, wow. <laughs> I was just kind of but I was really baffled at a lot of this. But, um, you know, when, when um, there's another aspect to this as well, too, you know, Ghost in America's Kitchen. He was a person who you can tell was really humble, really proud in his craft. But like, you know, they barely have any type of any type of documentation of his history. Um, and that doesn't surprise me because black history is always at some point trying to be erased. Um, and there's this little bit of 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 of. of text or, or or anything out there in terms of what he's done but let it be known that his fingerprints and everything we eat is very visible today and we get to interview a lot of folks who have not only been studying him um and trying to bring his story to light uh, obviously folks that's uh you know the contributions to this uh, documentary but other folks that are in the kitchen that is explaining his influence and his knowledge and just how ahead of the curve he was in this time to be somebody an innovator to to and to be black to do all of these things um and and and, and folks are saying like hey i feel his spirit when i'm in the kitchen you know 
Um, and, and that's what sort of his legacy was sort of about was like he wanted to be felt, but he actually never wanted to be seen. Like it's it's like a really noble thing. It, it's, it's it's hearing how people talk about him, it gives you chills because somebody who just has done so much but to be so selfish and then the fate the, the mystery of everything that happened with him is is a really like it's like it's like a tough pill to swallow essentially so I, i'm just saying that like you know when 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 you when you watch this documentary you're gonna learn a lot about his contributions to all of what we know today in american uh culinary education for what he was able to grasp from france to come back to america to do so Obviously, him being black and being a slave and everything that he was able to overcome through that. His relationship with Thomas Jefferson, um, his uh, his influences down the line with other chefs. Um, and, and then the more and more we learn about his history um, that had never been exposed, at least for me, never been exposed to any of this. And I think that knowing that, you know, there was a black man that was doing it, doing it back then. And like, yeah, these these this I love some mac and cheese. But to understand the, the the roots and the background, the history of this dish is something special. He's literally the first American to train in France, and 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 that is that's it's it's it's, it's remarkable. <laughs> it's remarkable. <laughs> oh man! So I, I, I it's a it's a lot to take in with this documentary. Um, if you, I listen. There's going to be a lot of different feelings you're going to have here because if there's one thing I know for me, it's proud. Every single time that we seem to reveal and discuss more and more about a black history, we learn these things and it's just like, man, like we, <laughs> I, I see, I see exactly now why, because if everybody knew all the things that we did, <laughs> there'd be a lot of changes in the world. And that you that's a conversation for another day. Totally check this one out, folks. James Simmons, Ghost in America's Kitchen, available now on Prime Video. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about when you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.